Hello, Cancers. Hello to all of the Cancers out there. Sun, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of June 15th through the 21st. This reading is for all of my Cancers out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of June 15th through the 21st. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like I'm the reader for you, and you feel like you connect with this reading and you want to show some support, Hit the subscription link along with the notification bell. Hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. I am doing private readings at this time. However, I have one more free slot. One more slot for a free reading. So if you would like to be considered for a free reading, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section so that I know that you are present or here. And um, yeah, that's it. So Cancers, we're gonna start with your reading. Okay, you have the, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Seven of Cups. You may hear some noise in the background that is the neighbors, the Knights of Pentacles. Okay, the Strength card. Some of you may be done with the Leo or have Leo in your chart. What energy do you have? Okay, Cancers. Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Tower card in the reverse. Scorpio Aries energy. Knight of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. All right, so we had two queens here. Two queens. I'm see this is your energy, this Queen of Cups. I'm seeing you. You may be thinking about a new passion at the beginning. Energies can go either way. Someone is thinking about a new passion at the beginning or having sex with multiple people, or someone wants to have sex or a new passion at the beginning with an option with someone that they look at as an option. And this person feels like it's taking a long time to happen. Someone feels as if it's taking them a long time to get it in, to use that wine with the choice that they have. And with this strength card, could be a Leo. With this strength card, this person is using all of the strength and courage they have to tame the beast in them. But they are also in their head trying to figure out what happened. Someone is in their head trying to figure out what happened. This person is overthinking. They feel as if they their option or this other person may have may be giving their cup of love to someone else. With the tower card in the reverse. 
someone feels like nothing really happened to shake the foundation of this union. So why isn't my person um, wanting this new passionate beginning with me? With this Knight of Swords, someone could be traveling towards a mistress with this Queen of Wands represents a mistress as well. Rep, um, why go, moving towards their person quickly? Their mistress trying to figure out what's going on. So let's clarify this. Yeah, see, things are not moving right now. With the hangman energy, someone is stuck because they're juggling. Someone is stuck because they're juggling. And this person, there was some type of heartbreak that took place because of a third party. And now this person with the magician card trying to be a trickster, trying to be a player, is trying to um, manifest a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with an empress. Someone that is able to um, make things grow or they have like all of this power spiritually. They, they are capable of making things grow. Like an, uh, someone that is abundant. And they want this to grow and to be nurtured. They want some type of stability with this person. Or they want this person to be stable with them, consistent with them. But there's a decision on the table. There's a decision on the table. And this person is trying to use their intuition to gain clarity and enlightenment. It could be with another Cancer or a Pisces. Scorpio or an Aries. Someone is trying to gain clarity and enlightenment pertaining to this situation because I feel like someone wants to walk away and cut this off, cut this off and cut this person out altogether, but they can't. Yeah, because this person makes them happy. They feel they, like there's always a celebration and a good time when they're around this person. So they're trying to focus on and figure out how can I balance out all of these relationships that I have because I want a new, not a new beginning, but a second chance with my person. The per They want a second chance with this mistress. Okay. Scorpio's energy with their judgment card. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a conversation needs to take place in order for a new beginning to come in. Because someone is tired of the toxicity, tired of being a manipulator, tired of overindulging. They just want to start off on this new journey with their person. Not really knowing where things are going. This person could be a would be wearing a mask, not really telling their person that they love them. Someone isn't expressing their feelings to this person. And it's causing someone to feel backstabbed, betrayed, and let down. Because with this page of swords in the reverse, someone wants to just come in and, and let their person know how they feel. They're tired of being immature, tired of the delays, tired of the disappointments, and this person needs to walk away from someone else in order to do that. But there might be some type of financial hardship if they do. Could possibly have a family or something like that. And with this nine of wands, that's a wish fulfillment. And then we have another I'm nine. I said nine of wands, and it and it came out after the fact. After I said it, nine of cups. So walking away from someone would be this person's wish fulfillment. But they, I feel like there are a lot of responsibilities that um, this person would have to turn away from. So it's really like not that easy, but this person is tired of blocking their heart with this mistress. They are, they are tired of wearing a mask. They're ready to take action and let someone know how they truly feel. Yeah, but there's confliction here. Confliction because they don't know if they're able to reconcile with their person. So they may come in with um, giving a bare minimum, 
They may need to come in with a gift or something to spark this new beginning so that they can have victory with their person. They're trying to gain clarity and, light, and enlightenment on how to get out of the situation that they're in and not look bad to other people. But with the sun card in the ver reverse, some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. It's the clarity is not coming in because this could be a marriage. Like this person that is committed to you or you're committed to them. And I'm seeing like you've been with this person for a long time. Could have, this could be the father of, or mother of your children. But there's a mistress here as well. With this lover's card, Gemini energy. And someone has a decision to make. There needs to be, and someone needs to put an end to something that they're bored with in order to have victory somewhere else. Yeah, with the six of wands in the reverse. Stop giving attention to this relationship that you don't want because it's causing you to feel overwhelmed. Someone like you're, you're carrying the weight of the world on your back. But I feel like you're doing that because you have other people looking at you. You have three people that are looking at you. These deer, I'm looking at them, those deer as people looking at you. So you have to sneak off or your partner or someone is sneaking off to see this mistress. And it's causing them some type of anxiety, anxiousness because they want to take control of the situation. Balance out the situation or maybe even get a divorce if this is a marriage. They want to block things out and move towards this other person. Yeah. See? Take an action to move towards this other person. Eight, eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to move towards another person. Could be you, could be them. Apply the energy as if it's to your story. Only you know your story. Comment below and let me know if this is you or if this is your partner. Let me know what's going on. Okay. I'm not going to take all of those. How many? Oh, three. I have to take those. Okay. Yeah, so someone is healing at this time. Healing because they're not getting enough from this union. Their person is wearing a, a mask, not really expressing how they feel. They know that this is a twin, a twin flame union, soulmate union, or something like that, but they're not seeing anything. This person may be codependent on a situation with a family, like their money, money or something with money is balanced out in, a, in that union. Yep. This person may be a people pleaser and they don't want to do it anymore. They came out in the reverse. They may not want to be a people pleaser anymore. It's definitely a third party situation. All the cards that came out, there are three people in them. And this person, if they leave, they're going to lose money. There's going to be some type of financial hardship. And I feel like that's why they're staying in this situation with their family. They may need to go to school or study something to bring in some more money. So they can be with the person that they love. But I'm going to leave it at that, Cancers. This is your reading for the week of June 15th through the 21st. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.